Hi, I'm Josh and you're watching Beekeeping in Canada. After going through all of my colonies and, and consolidating them, to ensure there's two colonies per double nuke, I've run into an odd number. One nuke box that doesn't have uh, a second colony in it, so I'm just going to move that nuke box into its own single and uh, let it grow from there. We'll probably use that uh, colony uh, in the queen rearing uh, process somewhere along the way. All right, so all we need for this switch is a regular bottom board, not the split one. So we'll play, re replace that out and also a deep super with uh, withdrawn comb in it. And we'll move this bottom board with the entrance facing the same direction as the nuke that is currently still living in this box. Take out a few of these empty combs. Now we'll just do the transfer the same way you would if you were putting a nuke in. These ones, this one won't need our attention for quite some time. It's a fairly small colony. And we won't need this queen excluder since there's only one colony in there. So we'll put that away for later.
few questions that were asked uh, on my last video. These pails are the 3 kg honey pails from uh, Bee Made. And that lid, I think it's made by somebody somewhere out in Alberta, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and it's just a, a feeder plug um, with a screen, a feeder screen uh, implanted into it. And it makes seeding a lot easier. And this is something I think that might be exclusive to Bee Made. So, and I don't think it's on their website, so you might want to just give uh, Bee Made Winnipeg a call. And they should be able to help you out with that if you're looking for those. Um, I use the 3kg pails because they work nicely with uh, my mating nukes as well. They fit nicely on those lids. So uh, you might actually want to go with something a little bit larger. Maybe a one, uh, a one gallon pail might do a little bit better. Give you a little bit more options as far as how much syrup you can give them at one time. Um, but the uh, 3kg pail works good for us. Another question that was asked was about how I'm feeding the two colonies uh, with just one feeder. The reason I can do this is because I have the queen excluder underneath there. And so the bees can actually access the feeder uh, from both sides. Uh, my lids, they have a 3 8 inch uh, rim around them. And so that gives a little bit of bee space up on top of the, uh, the excluder here. So the bees will come up through the excluder from both sides of the divider, which runs down the center. And they'll feed off that same pail and they'll bring it down to their respective nests. Um, so that said, our, our system here actually allows us to have half the number of seat feeder pails uh, as you would if you were running individual nukes because you would then need a feeder pail for each nuke. Whereas here we can actually, um, we, we can feed two hives with one pail. So that cuts the number of pails we need in half. And also when we're feeding down the middle, it's nice to have, you can see I have the two patties here. So if you have patties on both sides of the syrup, uh, that's a perfect place to put them. The bees will come up, grab the syrup, and they'll also come up and grab the patty from the same spot. So when I put this insulated sheet on there, then there's a hole cut in that insulated sheet, which coincides with the hole in my lid. that on there. I put that pail on there and they're happy as can be working together as one colony with two queens. <laughs> 